Hi friends, Hannah here from Sheet Leveller, your friendly Excel guide. Today we're tackling a little Excel frustration I think we've all faced at some point. How do you stop Excel from rounding your numbers? You know when you type a number and it looks fine in the formula bar at the top? That's always the full, non-rounded version. But in the actual cell, it's showing fewer decimal places than you want. Sometimes it even chops them off without asking. Let me show you exactly how to fix this. And make Excel display only the decimal places you actually want for each number. If I click on a cell and head to the Home tab, right there in the Number group, you'll see two little buttons. One with a left pointing arrow and a decimal. Decrease decimal one with a right pointing arrow and a decimal. Increase decimal. If I click Increase Decimal, yes. Excel stops rounding and shows me the extra decimal places. But, and here's the problem. It often adds a bunch of trailing zeros that we don't actually want. For example, maybe I want two decimal places for this number, but only one decimal place for this one. If I just keep clicking increase decimal, makes them all the same length, which isn't ideal. So here's the trick I personally love because it keeps each number's correct decimal places. No extra zeros. We'll convert the numbers to text so Excel shows them exactly as you type them. Here's how. Select your numbers, go up to the Data tab, click Text to Columns. Don't worry, we're not actually splitting anything up. We're just using this tool for a little magic. In the wizard, make sure Delimited is selected. Click Next. On the next screen, make sure nothing is ticked under Delimiters. Click Next again. On the final screen, choose Text as the column data format. Click Finish. And ta-da! Your numbers now keep their original decimal places without any rounding or extra zeros. Now you might notice two little things. Little green triangles in the corner of the cells. That's Excel warning you. Hey, this is text, not a number. With all the cells still selected, click the warning box, choose Ignore Error, and they'll disappear. The numbers are now left aligned, because text in Excel aligns left by default. If you want them right aligned, just go to the Home tab and click Align Right. Yes. Even though they're technically text now, Excel is smart enough to use them in calculations. For example, if I take one of these values and divide it by two, Excel still gives me the correct result. And that's it. No more Excel randomly rounding your numbers or adding zeros where you don't want them. Trust me, once you know this trick, you'll never go back to just smashing the increase decimal button. If you found this helpful, give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss my next Excel tip. Excel can be a joy once you get the hang of it. And I'm so happy we're learning it together.